Good day guys, welcome back to my channel, it's me Nate, and today we're back with a DCS Mix 1M video, and today we're going to be looking at one of the emergency procedures, and that is relighting a flamed out engine. So you might ask, what is a flamed out engine, and how do I get a flamed out engine? Um, I don't want to get too technical here in how jet engines work, but I will, what I will say is that the combustion process is in fact continuous and self-sustaining. So as long as you have fuel and airflow into the engine, obviously, provided you have no technical problems and mechanical issues, the engine will keep burning. Um, how you'd get one in DCS is uh, the most obvious one and the most uh, most common one will be you've done something very violent and very sudden. Um, for example, which what we'll show you here, I will pull vertical very rapidly from a high speed, um, climb out, and as I go up and the, the airspeed starts to decrease, the amount of air required to keep the engine in a high power setting um, diminishes and the engine will literally suffocate and the engine, the flame will go out, hence the name flame out. The recovery process is fairly straightforward and very simple. You nose back down, you keep a nose speed of about 500 kilometers per hour, and then you hit the relight switch, which is right behind the throttle here, called the emergency air relight. Or, or where's that effect? I can't quite remember, but that's the relight circuit breaker. Now you can put the throttle down to any setting as you do this, but you need to get the speed to 500 before you hit the circuit breaker. Um, it doesn't matter what throttle setting you set other than afterburner. And the engine, as you go go down towards, you plummet towards the earth, and the relay process takes place. The engine will naturally spool up to the uh, the setting you've set down, you've set for it. So, um, what? So that that that's that will do everything itself. It's it's automated. It's very simple. So I just go over again quickly. We'll watch the RPM gauge as we go up, and we'll watch that uh, drop. We'll idle the throttle, push the nose down, recover from a stall. If we do stall up there, we probably will and then we'll relight the engine. And then once the engine's relit, you apply power as required and pull out of the dive. So anyway, so here we go. I will start the process now, and I'll probably go to third person as well to show you the physical flame go, because you can see the flame go out of the, the, of the, the afterburn effect, oh, hence the name flame out, right? All right, so the flame on, let's get some airspeed. We really want some altitude for this because I can't emphasize, emphasize enough how much of a brick the MiG-21 is when it actually stalls. It will absolutely plummet towards the earth. So, speed is increasing. That's good. What's our altitude right now? 20,000 feet. That will probably be okay. If you're like me and the sound's really low, your only real indicator you've got is the RPM. Um, other than third person, you can hear the engine in third person. Alright, so, we'll pull up. Get the angle of attack indicator going. Keep the aircraft level. Bit of rudder is required. probably stall soon and we'll definitely definitely have the compressor stall there we go engine's burning out it's flamed out there we go it's completely flamed out now what you want to do now is nose over a bit of throttle whoop sorry a bit of rudder uh, let's try not to get into a flat spin because that will be the end of us yeah uh, nose going down good so my throttle set to something minimal watch the airspeed increase obviously the rpm is going to ride down once we pass 500 I'll hit the uh, afterburn, uh, sorry, the, the engine relight uh, circuit breaker. So, speed's about 500, relight. And you can, there you go, you can hear it just about the engine lighting up in the background. RPM's increasing. You can see we lost a lot of altitude, and it still is crashing towards zero. Anyway, the, the engine's about to, just about to relight. There we go, it's relit. Push the power, get some speed, and recover. All right, guys, it's really simple. So I'll just quickly give you a, a summary, a recap again. Engine stall, check the RPM gauge, and engine has stalled, uh, or engine's flamed out. Uh, put, set the power setting to whatever you want, except afterburn, I should have said, actually. I think I'd add that. Get the speed up to about 500, hit the relight, after, uh, hit the relight um, circuit breaker. I'll turn it back off now. And that's it. Process is very simple, very straightforward. It is, in fact, though, uh, a little bit intimidating and a little bit scary because your aircraft's falling out of the sky so quickly and you haven't really got much time to think and plan. Like I said, I did that from about, probably about 30,000 feet and um, only just about did it about 10,000. So lo I lost a lot of altitude in that process. All right, guys. Well, thanks very much for watching. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything, put in the comments below. All right. Well, this is Nate out.